Right, so now you've washed and conditioned, and it's time to use the curl cream. Let's see, can you see that? Intrinsic curly me, anti frizz curl enhancer. Right, so the curl cream is used on sopping wet hair. So either you've just come out of the shower and you um, have rinsed all the conditioner out or you've left some in, etc. Um, do not towel dry. What you're going to do now is you're going to take some curl cream and you're going to run your fingers through your hair. If you would like more body at the roots, try and only start putting it in um, from about here. That way you don't weigh the roots down. I prefer to put product on my roots because I don't like the frizz. So, you know, that's up to you. You're going to run your fingers through your hair or use um, a brush or a comb and you're going to make sure that you get the product evenly spread through your hair. Right, so now you need to make sure that your hair is sopping wet. You've added the product and you're going to squish to condish. So if your hair is still wet, that's great. Start the squish to condish method. If not, you're going to take a spray bottle and you're going to spray your hair with water. You can have some um, essential oils in that spray bottle. I love to put lavender in um, or you can just use plain water. So you're now squishing the product okay, into your hair. Squishing, you hear that actual squelchy sound. Okay, and then you know that it's working. You're then going to throw your head over if you feel you need to and squish and make sure that it's everywhere. Try and make sure that you've got product all the way down to the roots so that you land up with really nice curl formation and you don't have too much frizz. So um, keep squishing to condition. And now you need an old t-shirt or a microfiber towel. What you're going to do is you're going to squish all the excess water out using the t-shirt or the towel. And you're going to um, be taking out excess moisture and pushing in whatever moisture is there into your curls. And after that, it's up to you if you want to use a diffuser or if you're going to air dry. My hair is always much better if I air dry. Some people are better if they use a diffuser. Try not to use the highest heat on the diffuser because, as you know, heat will dry out your curls. So let's uh, step ahead and say right now your hair has dried. You will notice a slight cast, not as... Um, as crunchy as gel but there is a slight cast okay and then what you're going to do I'm trying to see if I have any more of that cast left in my hair um, I might have already scrunched it all out what you're going to do is just gently take your hair your hands and just squeeze to break that cast and you will get nice soft curls okay you don't um you don't need to worry about that cast staying as soon as you've scrunched it out it leaves you with lovely soft curls that are frizz free and it's as easy as that don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know how your hair turned out we love before and after photos